Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is a presentation of Kentucky Proud. I'm Tim Laird with Kevin Harned, and it's time to reveal more secrets of Bluegrass Chef. Yeah, Tim, I'm excited this time because we have one of the most dynamic chefs in the state. Michael Crouch is joining us in Kitchen Studio. He's known to have a dozen different specials at his restaurant on a given night, aside from his incredible menu. So I can't wait to see what he's cooking up today. And I'll tell you what, Kevin, I've got a great cocktail, too. I was thinking 1860, springtime, summertime, golf. I've got the 18th green cocktail. You'll love that one. Look forward to seeing the secrets to that. It's going to be a lot of fun with a lot of good food and good people before a live studio audience right here on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. I'm Kevin Harnett coming to you from our home base here at Kitchen Studio in the Butchertown Market. And from just up the road at Bistro 1860, Chef Michael Crouch is joining us today. You never know what Michael will come up with next. He's one of the most creative chefs we've ever met. And today, he's ready to show us some new recipes. A take on steak with Kentucky Proud mushrooms and his crispy curry duck with bourbon barrel soy sauce. All of that's just ahead, but first, say hello to my broadcast partner, America's CEO, our chief entertaining officer, Tim Lair. Hello, Timmy. Hello, Timmy. Another great day. Look at this audience. Wow. They're here. They are fired up. And they came hungry. They came hungry because you know what? The secret is, at the end of the taping, they get to taste all the wonderful things the chef prepared. Absolutely. We'll show you how you can be a part of the audience coming up in a bit, but first, We've got a person that we're about to introduce who is a favorite of both you of ours. You know what? He definitely is a favorite of both of ours, Kevin. We just love this guy. He's incredible, does imaginative things. He's just, in I j just love him. Yeah. All right. Well, how about that? We'll just leave it at that. You want to introduce him? I would love to. Let's All do right. it. All right. It's a great day to be in Kitchen Studio because here he is, Michael Crouch Bistro, 1860. <laughs> wow. How about that introduction? How about that? You want one today? Yeah. <laughs> We've known each other for a long time. We have indeed. And uh, here you are today, uh, back on our show. This is going to be a lot of fun. The studio audience is excited, and I know the folks at home are excited to learn some of your secrets. I am too. Well, I'm not, I'm actually, <laughs> actually know my secrets, most of them. I will reveal very few to you. Yeah, there, there's a lot you want to keep undercover, I know, <laughs> Chef. <laughs> but other than that, uh, some culinary secrets, though, however, I, we, could, yeah. we could share some of those. They're maybe. all yours. Yeah, but uh, I'll tell you, you are just, I, I mean, so creative. Every day you're coming up with something different, unique, and exciting. And, of course, your themed dinners are, are always a success. Love it. Kind of you to say. Kind of you to say. Because <laughs> I've been there. I know. Enough, yeah. <laughs> you know, you look back at your career, and, you know, we've done this show for quite a long time, but we can see the places you've been. But it really, in, you know, is inspiring, I think, to a lot of, especially the younger folks out there, how you got started. I mean, you go back to... Yeah, I question that myself, actually. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I didn't even plan on getting into this business. It was commercial art was my desire, but it kind of fell on my lap. And uh, just kind of been doing this for 20 some years now, I guess. Was it your grandmother you cooked with? Yeah, I used to like make cookies for Christmas. You know, that's just not because I liked it, just because I wanted the cookies to get done quicker. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it's, uh, I don't know, for some reason I love it. So, well, it you're good out, at it. It worked out good for me. So, what are we going to start with, Chef? We got some fun ingredients here. We are going to do some steak tartare. Uh, oh. And incorporate some of these magnificent mushrooms from Fondosa Farms. I've got some oyster and royal trumpets, which I'm going to make a duck cell of sorts with it with some uh, pecorino. I'm just going to saute these up a little bit, get them the, nice and soft. You don't take too long to cook up. That's what's nice about them. They don't take Fresh long. Fresh mushrooms. I love them. Uh, we're going to throw a couple of garlic cloves in here because they're here. This is like Gallagher. I know. Look at this. We're going to need to give some... I'm not. Plastic to the front row. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now that is a chop, Kevin. Right. What do you think? Garlic adds just a ton of flavor. So all of this is going to get pureed. This yes, is it is. I like this. Doesn't need to cut. Cook much longer. Once I get it in the processor, obviously it won't take long. I'm gonna do an egg yolk. This is just a Dijon mustard. 
And the equal part Dijon mustard. Equal part ketchup. Not just for burgers and chicken fingers. <laughs> and onion rings. A little any kind of hot sauce. There's a lot. And you're just gonna incorporate a little oil into it. Like I said, you can do this a lot of different ways. I've got, I've served a lot of different tartars on my menu, different variations. This is a very classical technique here. It's coming together nicely. Doesn't it? It's almost as if I've done this before. I think you... <laughs> <laughs> you would wonder, though, at times. <laughs> I really don't know if you have. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm watching it all. Let's go ahead and stick this in the food processor. What do y'all think? Yeah, let's yeah. do that. It seems Is about that time. You all? Let's do it. There they go. This is interesting that we're going to actually put all those mushrooms and goodies in a food processor. It's almost a shame. Tim's never seen a blender type thing used no. outside of a cocktail. <laughs> but, but I, I only make daiquiris and margaritas. I didn't know you could use these things for something else. Boom. Pretty good chance somebody's been a little sheltered. Uh, a little grated pecorino. A little grated pecorino. This is something Kevin doesn't use either, a grater like that. He didn't know. Yeah. I cut my finger on that too. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. Maybe stay away from all sharp <laughs> objects, Kevin. Uh, yeah. Maybe, I, just, I just go to the restaurant. <laughs> maybe maybe add just a little knuckle into there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Gives it a little more texture. Yes. <laughs> That's what it takes to get a class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's it. It doesn't get blended more than that. No, it's good. All right. And we're gonna, we're going to, uh, or I'm going to, finish off this dish here for you. I think we've got all the components needed. You don't think we're really helping? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this is beef tenderloin. You can use. Ribeye, you can do any kind of beef you want, really. Um, I prefer beef tenderloin. Hell, some people just use, some people get ground beef and, uh, and use it. I'm not feeling that, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not a beef or 1860, yeah. it's only the finer cuts. I mean, I mean if, if, if uh, money's tight, sometimes you come in the restaurant, you might get some burger or some scraps. <laughs> we got the now that's the way to chop. You don't need electricity with that one. That was no. good. <laughs> so we got our beef here. Beef, it's what's for dinner. It you know, is. Our Kentucky uh, Beef Council, we love them. Mm. I'll add a little bit of this uh, mix. Oh, see, that is different than, oh yeah. Very unique. I'm making a mess over here today. We got the cornichon. I've already uh, minced it up a bit. The caper what? or gherkin. Do you want to explain what that is? The Cornish or, or hen? Or gherkin or you know, corn, yeah. Not to be disrespectful with Cornish hen. You don't want to dice up Cornish hen and find a steak tartare. I mean, you do what you want, just don't blame it on me. <laughs> but uh, this is Cornish hen or gherkin or small pickle. Pickle. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you like to call it. <laughs> I'll add sometimes just a little bit of vegetable oil just to get it wet. Mm. Er. Yeah, so you know, I get the oil in there. Just gonna mix it up. Oh, it sounds delicious. It sounds it? delicious. <laughs> it looks delicious. And guess this, what? I'll bet it is delicious. It definitely has a different take on steak tartare than I've oh, I know. seen before. So we're gonna plate it up here. And if you if you really love some yolk. Never hurts to to add a little bit more if you oh, so you desire. Oh, you put a little uh, yolk right on top. 
Look at that. And this that is, is a, uh, you know, this actually is some, uh, well, we'll get to this later. I've got some greens I'm doing on my next dish. This is a baby mustard microgreen that's by Groganica Farms here that is also remarkable. Uh, so I had a little bit of micro. I've got some uh, rosemary wafers that oh. complement it nicely. So, mm. so this is a nice uh, a compliment to mm. the uh, tartar, the mushroom. I'm just doing like a duck cell, or doing a duck cell, a quenelle of the duck cell. This is just the shape. And now. Beautiful. Now wow. that's it. Wow. That is it. Beautiful. There it is. Dish number one down, but we're not finished sharing the secrets from Chef Michael Crouch, Bistro 1860. Coming up next, do you want to talk about what you're going to make? I'm going to do a crispy curry duck. It's a leg pack order with a uh, bourbon barrel soy uh, syrup mm. with sticky rice and some uh, wilted organic greens. Ooh, that sounds delicious. You'll see the secrets revealed before your very eyes on that. And Tim Laird, you're headed back to the old Forester Bar. I am. Speaking of greens, I've got the 18th green cocktail. You won't want to miss that. All right. I'll look forward to getting back into the kitchen when we come back. I hope you'll join us on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs right after this. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is a presentation of Kentucky Proud. With support from the Kentucky Beef Council. In Kentucky, beef is still what's for dinner. PNC Bank. For the achiever in you. Cisco Louisville. Good things come from Cisco. And by Kentucky One Health. Bringing wellness, healing, and hope to all. Find the comfort, style, and quality you deserve at Details in Middletown. Our showroom is full of high quality furniture and fabrics, fabulous rugs, lighting, unique art, accessories, custom kitchens too. Come home to spectacular. Details in Middletown on Shelbyville Road and online at detailsint.com. Originally in Tribeca, New York City, Rock is now in Louisville. Rock offers homemade and fresh quality food with an extensive wine and bourbon list. I will ensure that your Italian experience will be memorable. Rock on Barstown Road. Don't miss Cacio e Pepe Night only on Tuesday, only at Rock. Ciao, a presto. Get the guide for Louisville's restaurant scene, Louisville Eats, with menus and more than 300 local listings, plus interviews with top chefs and beautiful foodie photography. Louisville Eats, a supplement of Louisville Magazine. CY Esquire Magazine says the one meal to have in Louisville is at Ceviche, Nuevo Latino Cuisine, prepared by Anthony Lamas, three-time James Beard nominee for Best Chef Southeast, sustainable meats and seafood, and private dining for special events. Ceviche, spicing up the South on Bardstown Road. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. I'm Kevin Harnett. We are having a good time right here in the kitchen studio, Butchertown Market. You know where to find us, right here at Bourbon Barrel Foods. We're cooking with Chef Michael Crouch from Bistro 1860, and he made that beautiful steak tartare. He's not finished sharing his secrets. We've got more coming up with that crispy curry duck, the Bourbon Barrel soy sauce. You don't want to miss that. But first, it's time for Tim Laird to share some of his secrets. He's back at the Old Forester Bar. Tim? You know, Kevin, when you think of 1860, all of a sudden I thought about the 18th green. So I came up with a signature cocktail called the 18th green, and it's very simple. It's a one, two, three cocktail. One ounce of melon liqueur into a glass with ice, two ounces of fresh lemonade, and then we're going to top with three ounces of Corbel Brut. And it goes just like this, adds a nice little refreshing twist to this great cocktail. And as you can see, it is green. Now, instead of a stir stick, I like to use a flag stick. You can make these yourself at home. And there it is, the 18th green. Cheers. Thank you, Tim. That looks delicious, too. We've got more secrets to share from Michael Crouch from Bistro 1860 when we come back right here with all local, all positive programming on Secrets Bluegrass Chefs. 
Enjoy an authentic taste of Provence in Louisville at Brasserie Provence on Hurstbourne Parkway. We bring French to the table in so many delicious ways. From onion soup to our lavender honey pork chop, fresh seafood to steak freights, all paired with French and American wines and signature European cocktails. Relax in the dining room or unwind on the patio with a true taste of Southern France at Brasserie Provence in the Forum Shopping Center. To cook like a pro, you need tools like a pro, and you'll find them all at Dine Company, the restaurant store. Come browse our vast inventory, catering and bar supplies, pots and pans, serving utensils, equipment, and furniture. Shop in-store or online at DineCompany.com. Get everything you need to cook like a pro at Dine Company, where all foodies are welcome. Italian at its finest, Volare. Inspired cuisine by Chef Josh Moore intimate dining, private events, and year-round patio seating. Savor Volare. Cocktails and dinners seven nights a week. Volare on Frankfurt Avenue. At Ditto's, there's an open kitchen that lets you know something fabulous is cooking, like our sizzling stacked ribeye or raspberry chicken salad. Ditto's Grill. Delightful, delectable, delicious. It's got to be Ditto's. Bardstown Road at Grinstead Drive. Making dinner has never been this much fun. Cooking at Millie's. Hands-on classes with your favorite local chefs using our state-of-the-art facilities. The most entertaining meal you've made for yourself in ages. Book your fun-filled evening with us online at cookingatmillies.com. Cooking at Millie's. Learn to cook, eat, and have fun. Chefs, I'm Kevin Harnett alongside Michael Krause from Bistro 1860. Well, Tim's drink was a hit, your steak tartare was a hit, and now we're moving on to the next dish, which I see some duck laying before us, some nice Kentucky Proud greens. Yes, Tell indeed. us what we're going to make next. I'm doing a crispy curry duck, and I'm doing these uh, nice local, uh, this is a red scyphus uh, romaine from Groganica Farms, this is an aquaponic farm. And we're going to wilt those down a little bit with some sticky rice and use this lovely bourbon barrel soy product. Um, Made right here. Yes, indeed. Right bourbon barrel foods. This very place right here. Unbelievable products they crank out of here as well. All yeah. right, well, let's start. We'll and get, uh, all right, we're going to get, get cooking here. These you want to cook them nice and s slow and low on the uh, duck. Obviously, we're not going to cook that here. It takes about 90 minutes, and I think that's a little bit further than the time <laughs> that we've got set aside. We've got a little today. bit of time, but maybe not 90 minutes. <clears throat> Once you score this, we've got some my seasonings on this. I've got some uh, nice spicy curry and some Chinese five spice, uh, salt and pepper. And that's pretty much all I do to it, and I'm going to roast it. Um, so that'll go in the oven? And we're, and then basically, what, what you see here is what it is. And you season it, and it's going to go in the oven, which there's a 95% chance there's some in the oven right now. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to wilt, uh, wilt these greens up, just a little bit of... Uh, we're going to break down just a little bit uh, to go underneath of the duck because we basically need to eat your greens, is what they say. <laughs> but we're just going to trim the bottoms of those. And is this just, are the greens served just alongside as a bed for the duck? How's it, uh, uh, how's it come out on the plate? Yeah, just, see it this is sli up? slightly wilted uh, on the bed of it with the sticky rice. Nice. Just, just to give it some more flavor and some contrast to the dish. Well, I say it, it's not actually on the menu, but if you come in. I can make it for you with 90 minutes notice. <laughs> <laughs> Call ahead on that one, right? Talk about your history of uh, being a chef. I know uh, a few places you've, you've been to, but you've been at Bistro 1860 for quite some time. Yeah, about five years, I believe. Uh, that's a little over five years, mm -hmm. so we're going strong. Um, I've been a chef in town for, I don't know, maybe 18, 19 years. I've been to a couple of different restaurants. Uh, Local boy but, from here? Uh, I am here. pretty close to it, maybe 40 minutes out of here, out in Shelby County. Yeah, yeah, Bar yeah that's all right. We've got some folks, yeah. Kentucky proud you're folks. You're from Barstown, right? You New Haven, Barstown? yeah. yeah grew up in New Haven, went to school in Bardstown, so kind of the same thing that, as Shelbyville, right? out, that, out that direction. Yeah. <laughs> and I grew up similarly, watching my grandmother cook. She was the best cook in the town. Now, the, the difference is you see where I'm at and what I can do in a kitchen and what you can do. So well, you know, yeah, we all have our thing. <laughs> uh, super simple. You know, this is a really simple dish. It's just utilizing the proper product, nice ingredients, certainly local 
as much as you can? Well, we say that all the time, not just the local part, but don't overdo it, you know? So many people yeah. try to think, oh, it's just greens, I need to add so much stuff to it, and then you wind up just killing them. It's yeah. Simple. Keep it simple. Yeah, I mean, hopefully you can walk away and absorb this information where you can actually go make it at home. But, yeah, that's it. Like, we're just going to give these a little bit of color. We're not looking to kill them. Though I have to be honest, I may be able to do this. Yeah, you can totally <laughs> do this. <laughs> yeah. But... Really, that's really all we're trying to do to that. All right, and just so break it down a little bit, and uh, that's wilted down. You want to put the uh, duck in the oven, or are we just you know, like I said, yeah. After you score, you're just gonna se season it, salt, pepper, a little bit of the five spice, and that's all you have to do. That's all you do. You roast this. You put it in a roasting pan, a little pan underneath. Always serve it skin side up or uh, fat side up, so it'll basically baste itself while you're cooking it. Well, we've got a little time, not 90 minutes, but we'll take a quick commercial break when we come back. We'll see what's in that oven. We'll show you the final dish. You're watching Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs with Michael Kraut, Bistro 1860. We'll be right back. Bold, authentic, unmistakably Gustavo's Mexican Grill. Savor fresh Mexican flavors at three locations. Prospect, Crestwood, and LaGrange. Gustavo serves all your Mexican favorites, like sizzling fajitas, seafood, and chicken dishes with vegetarian meals, and a complete array of premium beer and cocktails. From appetizers to entrees, drinks to desserts, Gustavo's is serving what you're craving. Gustavo's Mexican Grill, with three locations in East Louisville and Oldham County. Olive oil is an essential part of a healthy, low-cholesterol diet, and it comes in all flavors at Z Olive, home to the finest extra virgin olive oils from around the world. And you can try all of them before you buy. Z Olive also has a wide variety of fine balsamic vinegars, great locale flavorings for everything from ice cream to steaks, marinades, and glazes. Z Olive makes the perfect gift, or make it your secret ingredient. Taste the finest at Z Olive in Westport Village. Welcome to Veronese Restaurant on Historic Frankfurt Avenue. Veronese is the perfect setting for your next celebration. We have private dining rooms that can accommodate large or small groups. Give us a call and let Veronese take care of the rest. To Bluegrass Chefs. I'm Kevin Harnett. We've had a great day. We're about to wrap up the show. We're plating our final dish. We've seen the uh, works of Michael Crouch here from Bistro 1860. The steak tartare, a hit. Tim's drink, a hit. We just put into the oven before commercial break. You say it takes about 90 minutes, so you've been cooking some all day yes. for us. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a rough job. Somebody's got to do it. But uh, let's plate up this crispy duck with the uh, bourbon barrel soy sauce. I see you've got a nice. I do. Jar of that. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, we're just going to put our sauce together. Again, extremely simple uh, sauce that we're doing here. Okay. <clears throat> I'll do, uh, this will put some more butter in it. Well, because butter is always a good thing butter to add. Butter is king. <laughs> we're going to do uh, this, uh, of course, bourbon barrel soy sauce, magnificent product, and some nice grade A maple syrup. Mm. Wow. And we're just going to do, I could tell you we'll measure, but we're not. We're going to do basically about equal parts of oh, it. I love that. And, and you can find that local, too. The you can find syrup. it local. You can also find it right out there on that shelf on your way out if you'd like. <laughs> I expect 10%. Matt Jamie, the proprietor here at Bourbon Barrel Foods, started this company, and it's just become amazing. I mean, global at this point where it's uh, shipping his products all across. So. Yeah, just started exporting to uh Japan recently, which is, which is huge. Yeah, I mean, Japan's buying his soy sauce. Yeah, exactly. And like I said, this is just butter. Um, All right, so we've got the maple syrup, the soy sauce, and just a little butter. Yep. That's it. And then we're going to incorporate this uh, little bit of allspice. We'll do a couple tablespoons. That's about what that was. Ish. <laughs> Curry. <laughs> we're doing pretty much equal parts on everything on this, so... As far as recipes go, that's pretty easy. <laughs> it? Yeah, it seems to be, yeah. It's, I mean, equal, anytime, equal, it's equal parts. Anytime I walk away from a show thinking, you know what, I'm going to go home and try that because I think I can do it. I'm, uh, well, it's a good day. In our minds, it seems really easy. This part's done. I've got some duck. Once you bake it for a while, you're going to want to put 
some of this on top. It's going to give it a nice crust on it. So you serve uh, the duck bone in? I obviously. do. You know, yeah. I serve it at the restaurant a lot of times. The the whole duck, the whole duck. Okay. This a little bit more conducive for the group here today, but whole duck, half duck, any way you want, really. Well, and that's again, it speaks to the different size plates that you have. If you're yeah. hungry or more hungry, you can get as much or as little as you want. Let's plate it up. Let's do it. <clears throat> like I said, this is your greens. <clears throat> All right. Greens this go is, this down. This is duck. Doesn't that look good? Your duck breast. And that's it. There nice you have and, it. Nice and simple. You can put some mango alongside it, some of the sticky rice if you'd like. But there you have it from Chef Michael Crouch. The crispy duck with the bourbon barrel soy sauce and some nice Kentucky crowd greens. Absolutely. That looks delicious. For folks that are watching and everybody here, tell them where you're located. We're at uh, 1765 Millwood Avenue. Um, it's called Bistro 1860. And we're waiting for you. You can't miss it. It's a nice mustard or gold colored old home, which is beautiful. Yeah, built I mean. from the name, a lot of people will think the address is 1860. If you go to 1860, tell them we said hello. <laughs> uh, the address is actually 1765. 1860 is uh, the year the building was built. Yeah, so. and it is beautiful and uh, nice uh, space upstairs as yep. well. So folks that want to bring in a group. Great food, lots of booze, and we play music too. There you have it. Michael Crouch, everybody. We appreciate you being here, Michael. We appreciate our audience. Thank you for watching. For all the folks that are a part of our show, we say thanks for being here. Kevin Harnett, Bluegrass Chefs. We'll see you next time. Flavor meets art in Westport Village at Hiko Amon, modern Japanese sushi bar and fish market. Do some shopping and drop in for happy hour and a wide array of food and drink specials. Or stay for dinner and enjoy an international mix of flavors made with fresh organic ingredients. Lamb racks and fillets. Fresh seafood. And exquisite modern Japanese dishes, including the finest sushi in town. Hiko Amon has private rooms, and for home cooks, a fresh fish market, party platters too. Excite your senses at Hiko Amon in Westport Village. River House Restaurant and Raw Bar, now open for lunch and dinner seven days a week. Featuring the cuisine of Chef John Veronese with a southern inspired menu and an emphasis on seafood with a spectacular raw bar. River House, right next to the water tower at 3015 River Road. Reservations recommended. Have a feast, the Southern way, at Sway. Downtown at the Hyatt Regency. Enjoy seasonal menus made with the highest quality local ingredients. Food that's thoughtfully sourced and carefully served. Groups of four or more can dine family style. Sway in the Hyatt. Make food service easier with help from Dine Company, the restaurant store. If you prep, cook, or serve food, we serve you. Shop Louisville's largest selection of new and used food equipment and smallwares in store or online at dinecompany.com. Experience the difference our people make at Dine Company, family owned and operated since 1982.